So a couple weeks ago, I showed you how to motorize your LEGO Ferris wheel. Well, today I'm back with another Ferris wheel video, but I'm not going to show you how to motorize it. I'm going to show you how to light it up. Today we're going to be using this pack from LightUpBlocks.com. They have a variety of LEGO lighting kits, including this LEGO Ferris wheel kit. LightUpBlocks has a variety of LEGO lights, whether you just want standard lights to do with your saw, or these LEGO set lighting kits for a lot of the bigger sets. So the first thing we're going to pull out are the actual LED lights, and then the next thing, it looks like this battery pack. So we'll just take a look at this here first. You slide it out and it looks like we're going to need three AAA batteries for this project which is, you know what, perfectly okay. An interesting thing is this battery pack is powered by this USB port which is pretty neat. So potentially if you had a full USB setup you could probably just skip the battery pack. We'll test that out a little later on in the video. As you can see we have this light up blocks little kit here with all the different LED lights. We'll just open this up here. As you can see, there are quite a variety of different lights. So it comes off in two strings. So I guess one for each side of the Ferris wheel and each one is separated with these little ties. So I'll just open one of these up right now. I'm not gonna open both so I don't tangle the wires because that would be bad. As you can see, each stud, and I'm making a lot of noise, I'm sorry. Each, um, each stud has some wires in it. I'm just being very careful because I don't want to tangle these up. I'll probably end up doing it anyway. But here you get the point. Lots of little studs, lots of wires. I'm going to grab some batteries and I'm going to test this out. As dumb as this sounds, I couldn't find any batteries. So I'm just going to use this like charging mobile hub thing I have. Plug it in and see if it still lights up. As you can see, this did work and oh my gosh, look at how cool these lights are. They go in a bunch of different patterns. They change colors. These are really awesome. Even if you're not going to light up your Ferris wheel, this is so cool. And I'm going to turn off my studio lights now and just kind of give you the look of what they look like. Whoa, these things look so cool. They're like lighting up my room right now. So far, even though they did send me this product to show you guys in the video, I'm super impressed with the quality and just the look of these lights. And I'm so excited. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to start putting these on my Lego Ferris wheel right now. So the first thing you notice is there are 12 LED lights on each string and there are 12 little spots on the ferris wheel where these blue plates are. You can basically do it however you want but what I'm going to do is to remove the blue plate I'm going to add the LED light, I'm going to add another stud right beside it and that's how I'm going to do my ferris wheel as of right now. If I don't like how it looks I can always add the blue plates back again and change where the position of the lights go but that's the way I'm going to show you in this video. As you can see, putting the lights in place is super easy. All I'm doing is removing the 1x6 tile on top of each of these plates, taking the blue plate out of itself, I'm adding one of the lights from the LED string in, and then I'm just taking a 1x1 trans clear circle plate, putting it in its place, putting the brick on, and then I'm going to thread the LED wire through the next car, and I'm just going to repeat the whole process over again. As you can see right now, I'm not too worried about how my wires look because I plan on, you know, kind of working with that a little later on, not on the video, and just kind of see how it works for me. So now that I've completed putting all the LEDs on the front side of the Ferris wheel, I'm going to repeat the exact same process on the back side. It's really hard to show the back side, so I'm not going to, but just a tip, make sure the first light for each of the front and the back line up together because it will make it very difficult in the end result if you don't line them up. As soon as both sides are wired up, we're good to move on to the next step. So I realized that you definitely need this when you're going to operate your ferris wheel because you can't have any wires coming off the ferris wheel. So I went and dug around a bunch of bins and stuff like that and I found some AAA batteries to get this working. Now that the battery pack is done, now what you're going to want to do is take the USB port that's attached to the ferris wheel and plug it into the battery pack. 
As you can see, there is an on and an off switch, which does turn the light on and off. I'm going to leave them off for now. What I'm going to do is wire this thing, well not really wire it, but just move the wires through this way, through this way, and I'm just going to attach it on the back of the Ferris wheel here, right here on this side, because it does have that little stud that allows it to be attached on, which is very handy, it's a great idea that they did that. So now you have it, there it is, it is completely attached, not quite hidden, as you can see there are still a ton of wires exposed, and as I said, after this video, I'm just going to kind of do whatever I want to keep the wires hidden, and I recommend you do the same thing when you buy the lighting kit. Now all you need to do is to turn the lighting kit on, it is on, and spin the ferris wheel. I don't know what this thing looks like on video, but in person, it looks so awesome. It's like completely lighting up my LEGO city. It's like lighting up my whole LEGO room, and it just looks so awesome watching all these colors change and the Ferris wheel spin around. Really impressed. This is like an A plus product. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this. I hope you learned something in this video, as well as I hope it was informative. So now, you can light up your own LEGO City Ferris wheel. Again, don't forget to check out LightUpBlocks.com where you can purchase the Ferris wheel kit. I also believe BrickLoot.com is a reseller if you want to check them out there if you're in America. But I imagine LightUpBlocks.com will have a larger selection just because that's where the product actually came from. This is such a cool product, it lights up my LEGO City, I am thoroughly impressed, I think it's done a great job, and I think once I do some more work to, you know, hide the wires a little bit better, this, will, you'll never even be able to tell it's in my LEGO City until you turn it on and wow every single person looking at it. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe for more Proclever 18 LEGO videos.